you can uh, uh, ignore this one this serialization fail on empty pins is equal to false you can uh, like uh, you can ignore this one it is not required here now come to the main function where from uh, like from where my application is going to spring application is going to start its initialization here we have we didn't do anything it is just a spring application and it is just uh, saying that uh, spring application dot run and the class name of this uh, this uh, class okay so let me uh, just close it and come to the home controller what is happening in the home controller so home controller we are just uh, saying that uh, at controller home controller then auto add the service class of my order service order service is going to interact with my repository and the in inside this two or this view my order model is going to flow in like in both of both of these classes so on the root of like uh, on the blank response on the blank uh, this url we are just going to pass the list of the order and uh, like we have added this in the model uh, model loaded attribute as the list order and list order and we are returning the home page so home page it will going to search in my application or properties and it will add this view on the prefix and dot jsp as the suffix and it will just check this home page dot jsp and uh, just uh, open that page for me with having the list order on the model so we can use that list order object and we can just iterate it and based on our requirement we can show on the front end come to the home rest controller so what it is doing it is the rest api so it will just going to return me the list of the order which is in the form of json and in that way json we are going to use so i will show you on the user inter uh, like uh, when we come to the auto refresh.jsp page now come to the order dot java which is my model so i have specified here that table name which table name it is going to use so it is going to use auto detail table name and the id order id customer name product name and price whatever the field we have in the table we are just going to specify in that model object also so you can see order id customer name product name and price and we have uh, we have declared here as the this constructor then uh, getter setter and we have the two string method here nothing more now come to the order service what we are going what we are doing in the order service we are just calling the function defined in the order service this is the custom function you will get in the jpo repository based on your requirement you can uh, specify your function so find top 10 by order by order id and in order desc descending order we want that record so as you can see repo is, is uh, as auto add now come to the order repository what we have done here and the uh, order repository is the interface inside that we have extending the jp repository and we are passing the order and date so there are two function one is the find all order by ID, order by order order id as asc so you can see this is find all by then order by uh, order by order id and asc and when you specify find top 10 by order id so this function give me the all the record in the descending order the first function but the second function give me only top 10 record okay now come to the jsp part so here first it is going to load the home page dot jsp to the header uh, this home page dot jsp inside that first we have include the header dot jsp so let me come to the header.jsp first as you can see we have already added this jstl core so that we can use this uh, jstl part and spring form it is not required here just remove it and uh, i have already like uh, if you want to reload our web like home page after four seconds 
so we can directly specify this functionality inside the header as you can see meta http if we refresh it content four second okay style sheet we have specified here bootstrap i will show you this after that i will comment it then uh, we need the jquery so you can uh, you can download it and you can directly specify your local path i have directly used the stack path you can uh, check the cdn part for the jquery and you can specify that uh, in your src then this is the my this one is my the now bar and after this just this much only so this header.jsp is going to load on my this homepage.jsp we are going to include it so if you come down we have already stored this list order inside the model attribute and we are just iterating it here and we are just printing the order order dot order id order dot customer name order dot order price so whatever the field we have inside the order dot java we are just calling it here using the jstl tag this one order id customer name product name and this so as you can see we have the we are iterating it using jstl and we are printing it here let me execute this program and uh, explain you the flow of this application now my application is started here now what we need to do we need to start uh, we need to check the application like uh, what is happening here so whenever i am hitting that uh, localhost 8085 it will just call the blank route and blank route is defined inside our home controller okay and uh, whenever the home controller will get call you can see it it got called and uh, the list order we are calling the service dot get order list and we are storing that order in the model auto add attribute list order list order and returning the home page the home page dot jsp it will add the prefix views and suffix home page uh, sorry suffix editor dot jsp then we are calling the home page dot jsp here if you see on the home page dot jsp it is refreshing it is reloading the page after four second you let me wait yeah it is refreshing the page and let me start this application which is uh, responsible to insert the data uh, after some interval after four second only so it will insert the data and our page is going to reload and uh, it will show you the updated count here now you can see this is 104 again it will get refresh 106 105 and 106 again it will get refresh 107 so like this let me stop this application but we don't want this we want like this like uh, it will just reload the content it will it will not reload the page okay so we will come to this auto refresh page now let me comment the code which I have uncommented here homepage.jsp where are you homepage.jsp yeah it is here only come to the header.jsp and comment it and just save it now if you see this thing will get commented Now it is not refreshing again and again it got commented yeah it got commented here so if you want to refresh the page after uh, like some time then you need to specify in the header but we don't want it we want the table the table should be uh the table content should be updated after some time okay so based on a requirement you can do what uh, what things which is the base suited for you now come to the auto refresh dot jsp page so if you see in my home controller i have specify one uh, more request mapping if whenever we will get the url like auto refresh it will return the auto refresh only this much only what it will do it will add the prefix and suffix and redirect the that url to my auto refresh dot jsp page now whatever uh, what this auto refresh.jsp will do 
it will just include the header.jsp and just uh, wait for a moment that is script part we have created a container in that we have uh, we have just print the header like below data will refresh after some interval so if you click on auto refresh dot uh, auto refresh page it, it got it call the url auto refresh and uh, this is the div container and this is a table container table so how, how we have printed that table so if you see i have created uh, i have created one div container here and id as the order table and we have just closed this div this much only and everything this behind the scene it is happening with the ajax call and java jquery sorry the behind the scene is happening with jquery only so this is the must thing you need to include that jquery in your uh, project in your uh, this page so if you if you have seen that i have already like included that javascript in my header.jsp let me show you once again so here this is the main thing otherwise it will not going to happen whatever we are doing here so let me explain this for you in document.ready function i have set i have called the set interval function and in that function we need to pass we have uh, we have passed this function so in this set interval function i'm going to call this show order table function after five second so this is the in millisecond you need to specify in the millisecond here after five second it will call this show order table function whatever we want to do is show order table function it is our requirement whatever we want to do we can do it so if you see that order table data it is the id of my this table order table data and we are removing it first so uh, wherever it, it will uh, it is present it will just remove that so if you see this is the id of order id order order table which is my div container so how we are going to append so what what is the main thing i am going to append this html table html for table inside this order table div container and whenever we we uh, whenever we call this function it will first remove this container sorry this table okay so first we call the remove so whatever the previous data is present on the front end it will just remove that thing it will just uh, have it will just have this container only now come to this so uh, we are going to perform the ajax call so i have defined here the url and after url i have uh, created one variable html for table so this is my header part and uh, after this like uh, table class table table stripped uh, you you will get this thing from the bootstrap uh, documentation so this is our the header part where we have the order ready customer name product name price and we have closed the th tt head then uh, we have started here from t body html table data first it will the it will be the blank and uh, then we have called this url function get uh, like we have called this ajax call here dollar dot get inside we have passed this url order detail and then function response json so whatever the response json json we have got we have just iterating it dollar dot each response json function index comma order so whatever the index and the order we are iterating that json and we are storing in the order so in one order uh, like uh, we are iterating html data plus is equal to so whatever we are doing we are just uh, adding that uh, tr again and again in html data table data so you can see here trtd then order dot order id tr then td 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 close then td order dot customer name and td close td order dot product name and order dot product price and last we have closed this tr so it will iterate it uh, once uh, till it, it is not reached that last index and it will store uh, it will uh, give me the table body content in the form of tr and td and on the done function what we are going to do we are just 
start uh, concatenating all this string required so html for table then html for table data and t body and table here so after concatenating the string we need to append that uh, string to the div container so dollar dot hash order table dot append html for table so whatever thing is there it is just it, it will just going to append inside that in case of fail we are just sending the alert to the user that error could not connect to the server or server encoded an error so like whenever it uh, it it is going as we have said the interval of the show order table for five seconds uh, so it will after five seconds it will just uh, call this show order table and it will remove this order table data wherever it is present by id so we have removed it first and we have uh, like we have started to iterating it one by one we are just creating the t body t head and uh, then we are just appending that thing to the order table div contain id okay so let me execute this code and uh, show you the output again so it is already running let me start this one so it got started let me come to the auto refresh page here below data will refresh after some interval okay 112 is the topmost customer name product name and price then 113 we got wait for some time 114 also we got so this is the program which is going to insert all the data and the spring boot application is going to show the output to the user 117 so the backend should be anything we are just concerned here whatever stored in the database we just need to load on the live basis after some interval. so as you can see only the content is going to refresh not the page so we have we got our goal whatever the required we have implemented here okay so if you have any doubt any question then please put in the comment section i will definitely reply on that and uh, please subscribe to my channel friend thank you